PvPN Paul Division is back one time. Week 17, we're closing in on the finals, and we just thought we were going to take a bit of a candy here on some of our fellow gobos. Yes, the Ligans are back in the house one more time. So as you can see, yeah, it's Wood Elves, and of course, a lot of sticking goblins. It's going to be a great old time, isn't it? Let's take a look here, the weather is all fairly nice here. Three rerolls, yes, the whole of that's gradually has acquired rerolls over the course of the season. Amazing that. Many of the goblins, yes, three bribes, three reed rolls, a wizard, just because they can have a wizard, that is the plan. As you can see, a lot of destructive firepower. Yes, they have started to bring in the star ball and chain. Meanwhile, looking around here, where's the other one? Nope, they don't have the other one. They do have chains on, so this should make it things outside of fun. Let's get it started here. Oh, look, three reed roll, that's all they need. Great. Sloppy! Well, it's like, not like the Wood Elves need re-rolls, eh? <laughs> what do you mean they do? Alright, here we come. Early blitz, early push, and nothing exciting happening. So here's going to be the problem here. Because you've got the secret weapons, quite frankly, you want to take all the time in the world. As long as you got the field out, like, push me, push you. The Bolton Chain is doing a great job. And yes, as you can see, obliterated. Crowd goes wild, early death caused by the ball and chain, and there's going to be much rejoicing. And then somehow the ball and chain misses everybody fucking else. And before you ask, does that actually count for something? Well, it gives us a great bit of applause anyway. And now the trolls get to work. They'd like to hit something. Well, he's hit the tree. A fat lot of good that did. He brings the chainsaw back just in case. Yes, looking at it, chainsaw as an MVP and nothing else. There is the epic attempt to pick up the ball, and yes, he's managed to pick that one up. So now here's the fun. The goblins now come swarming in to try and contain the opposing team. Need I remind them these are wood elves? Containment doesn't really apply for this team. All right, here we go. Early around the side, and there's a good solid slug and kick to the face. Hang up tree, grabs a troll, and moves him elsewhere. This is now made up a considerable amount of wood elves, and guess what they've decided to go and do? Yes, fungus. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Fungus' well, biggest problem, yes, the ball and chain is a wonderful thing unless he gets oh. isolated, and then quite frankly, you, you pick him off because he doesn't have any really defensive skills, so he's pretty easy to knock over. Mind you, this is why in some seasons, ball and chains have suffered three red dice attacks and lost many, many times. Just saying, ball and chain... It's a wonderful thing, unless someone gets cheeky, and especially if they got block, it's actually worth the effort to fight the living crap out of it. So he's removed that threat for the rest of the game. I do, well, you can pay the bribe for him. It is an option, but he's likely not coming back anytime soon. Yes, Troll gets a good solid slug into the Wood Elf and does sweet bugger all. This is probably where the frustration levels now start to kick in at this point here, going, you know, they're not getting it. Oh, don't worry, you know, the Wood Elves are the same complaint about the goblins, they're not getting it either. So, complain, complain, complain. Oh well, it's early days. It's only turn two, what could possibly go wrong? And as you can see here, yes, the goblins have left him completely open from getting stuck in the backsides. Now, that was an impressive hit here. One dice by the Goblin, and he does timber a tree. And now, here comes the worst nightmare for the Goblin. See, leaving this wide open. Should be pretty easy to have the Wood Elves. And you can see they're looking at it. Nope, oh, tree does fail to stand up. Bit of push, bit of dodge. And let's see, is he going to exploit go straight down the middle? Well, he probably isn't. Well, that was a good one. 
Let's try that again. Yes, Twinkle Toes has managed to make it this time. Comes around the side. Mops this one up. Next one runs away, because that's what Wood Hills are great for. Now, here comes another lad. Easy spring. He makes it. Comes around the side. Here we go. Two dice right into the poor goblin. And he's going to suffer for this one. Oh, yes! Well, the ball is free, and now he's going to take a look, you know, does he go for the ball, or does he keep it guarded up, does Antis keep it guarded up? Well, there was a good one. My nipples explode with the knife! As the train's off, all he gets to do something. Well, from his viewpoint, it's a shame it's only a stun. And now the problems happen at 1 in 9, followed by a 1 in 9. Well, nothing that goblins can do to get out of that one. One in nine, followed by a one in nine, your wife's gonna suffer around. And well, down he went. Hey, look. <laughs> the stick's up. That's what she said. And now all kinds of pain is about to happen. Hey, look, Mr. Chainsaw, you don't have any actual skills. Kill him, do it! Shoot him! Well, and there, well, trade off. It's only a stun. And now, quite frankly, the Wood Elves are indeed looking at an early score because this forces early use of the bribes. Now, seriously, that is the plan now. Now they just want to get the ball. Well, an awful lot of dodge going on here. The goblins are surviving this relentless assault. And you fail, don't you? Oh, well. Cameron's having fun, but he does get it on the second effort. And he's off and running, and I bet no one's catching him anytime soon. Would you like to take one more? No? Okay. Yes, before you ask, yes, he's got every bloody skill. Yes, indeed. The goblins now have a massive problem. The one who should be knocking him down is this poor bugger down here. And yes, Face Gnome is a thing. He's looking up how to take out a Blodge player. And Your now, creatures are becoming angry. Stunty fails one more time. Well, one and nine. We said he's already now been one and nine once. He's now been one and nine a second time and a third time. It's not his day, is it? What else you can see? Will there be any stalling? No, they want to force the bribes to be used now. Push me, push you. And the war dances, they're not exactly having a perfect day of it. There comes a couple more lads, just in case. Now he is aware there is a nasty little thing here, but I don't think he's going to use it right away. Meanwhile, the tree, there's a good solid hit. How are you feeling? Well, fortunately, early kick the trail in the nads, so nothing important. Vital is damaged. Pushing around. There's going to be an awful lot of that so far. Over here. Oh, there's a good sort of kick. This could hurt. Yeah! And it's only a KO. I hate to admit in here, so far, remarkably, what damage going on this game. That was strangely arousing. Really? Yeah, foul? What kind of elf are you? What was that for? Oh well, back on face now he goes, he's got to look that one up. I shouldn't have said anything. You know, lucky he actually makes the dodge. And he gets that one. Ah, oh, sorry. Finish her! This seems to be the chainsaw's biggest problem today. He can't get any real injuries going. Not from lack of trying. Oh well, guess what? I think he has a different idea. Well, that worked out quite well. Unfortunately, Constable Ed has caught that one. Well, that's all right, Constable Ed. Well, he needs a little bit of cash here. It's been an expensive week for him, hasn't it? Well, it has been. He's actually been having told he has to call everything, and you know what that means. That's exactly right.
All right, wood elves. Now, they'd really like to get rid of this bloody chainsaw. They really would. Because, quite frankly, for the wood elves, the chainsaw is your biggest risk to get rid of any of your blodges. All right, he's come around here. Now, in Stunty we trust, but apparently not this game. Meanwhile, Tree, he's doing a fine job here. He's just caught getting hit with a beating stick. And it's working great. Just absolutely great. All right, a couple more dice into. Does not get the pogo stick, moves him around a bit. That's fine. And is it time to finally score this one up? Coming around, and yes, indeed, that one is actually in. It is so funny when they celebrate a touchdown. I'm trying to make this an art form. This is blood ball. It's not art. Okay, splattered blood all over the pitch is kind of art. And now Constable Ed is on a run here. Well, there goes another one. And is he going to go for three for three? No, he's done. That is it. KO removed. Get off me pitch. I'll admit it did a good job. You did get one confirmed kill. See? It's dead elf. You know what we all say? What we call one good wood elf dead, one good bloody star. Alright, let's turn this around here because the goblins have to try this one more time. Admittedly, they've now lost most of the turns. Goblins, of course, on the reserves here do still have two reserves. It is amazing at this point here. Alright, here's the sort of kick. Really? We're going to start doing this one? And the goblins are a fucking disaster on that one. Not a single wood elf knocked down. Well, that's what happens when for once you don't have the fame. And the goblins, you can see, one, two, three, four, five players. Da, da, da. Well, he's going to try and put some kind of a fight up. But now it is, quite frankly, for the goblins, having to stall out for two, maybe three turns, and then drive the ball. Well, he's got the ball. I mean, yeah, he's got the right idea with it. Piss off, it's mine and I'm running away. Meanwhile, off the field. Yeah, he decides to take the um, Stand firm. Bit of a push. And the tree's not moving. This is what we call him, Stumpy. That old wood elves, let's face it. This is a golden opportunity. They can go charging after this one. I think that's exactly what they're going to do. Oh, well, look. He's found a goblin with block. What's he doing on the pitch? And who is he? What's he doing in, Doing on this team? He's a skilled player. There's no way he should be on this team. Well, as you can see, massive exploitation here. And that didn't work too well, did it? Oh, well. <laughs> Troll actually does get a skill that's actually useful called Block. He actually knocks the tree down. So the goblins do indeed have options here. Now remember here, the pogo stick cannot be thrown. Unlike the star pogo stick, he can be thrown. It's an old rule. Otherwise, this would be way too much of an exploitation, apparently. Alright, many GFIs. Did he get him? Oh, yeah. Yes, he did. Well, at commissioners, like the commission. Literally. And the rest of the goblins here. And you know what? He has a dream. He has a dream of a dead wood dancer. I think it's a fine dream. Two dice. Push me, push you. Sweet bugger all. What was parking next to the troll? What could possibly get wrong? And meanwhile, the stunty dodge is in effect. Well, he's given himself a dump out. If he doesn't want to throw the player, handoff isn't such a bad idea. 
Well, a tree has taken root. And quite frankly, well, he's done. Guess he landed in some fine little fertilizer in the field. And meanwhile, is he gone yet? No, he's not. Okay, the rest of the wood holes, do you have a plan? Crazy Dodge comes on in. Where are the rest of the lads going? Not in theory, they have a plan. Didn't say it was a good one, but it is a plan nonetheless. It's almost like he's planning for the handoff. Ooh, almost 1 and 36 is the dodge away. Comes in, and there's a bit of a problem right there. Well, that's going to hurt, isn't it? Run, cowards! And finally gets in. Change dive. Try that again. And yeah, down he goes. All right. Goblins, it all comes down to this. There's a bit of a push away. All right. Chainsaw Blitz. And he's got him down for a while. Hell yeah! And now his fun begins. Did you get him? Oh, Crap! Why are you calling that one? He didn't do anything to him. Really bastard today, isn't he? His wife must be on the warpath. Alright, there's the easy handoff. He's got it. And then... You are not prepared! He's going to have to send the other troll to go and throw him. And here it goes. Does it work? Oh dear. Guy, <laughs> well, there it is, summed up in a nutshell. And I think the elves are enjoying that one. All that effort, and you smashed your player into the ground. Well, turn that around here. Can the elves actually, and yeah, he's looking at it. He's not just looking at it. I think he's actually going to bloody do it. Well, push me, push you. But does free up the player. See, this is the one thing when you're Wood Elves. And this is fine play here by the coach. Always have opportunity because things like this tend to happen. All right. Right. There's a big a bit of a hit there. <laughs> And here we go! And that is the miracle throw! Oh my! No, that didn't work either! Yeah, round of applause from the goblins, thank you very much! So, miracle of miracles, it is only after a disaster, 1 0! Well, that is the problem with goblins. When things start going wrong, they really start fucking going wrong, don't they? It is a death. It was a good start. But that's about all they can run. Meanwhile, there's the one early ejection. No surprises there. And I think Constable Ed's about to have a fucking field day. Yeah, there he goes. The calling has started already. And there goes another one. So now you've got a bit of a problem. Now, it's not over yet. Never ever until the fat Havling dies. But taking a look here, the Wood Elves are in a pretty decent spot. Because here you are, second half, and this is not full. As for the goblins, now surprisingly, you do actually have reserve. No more bribes though, so now things have to be kind of held steady as it were. Meanwhile, if you are the Wood Elves, you do want to score quick again. I stress that word again. Because you want this lad ejected. Well, look at the crazy skill he's got. You have it. Hail Mary Pass. This makes him, in effect, a mortar. So, once again, for the Wood Elves, this is why you want to take this player out. Yes, Hail Mary Pass. A wonderful skill on any bombardier if you ever look out and roll the double. Why is that medical? Because he only fumbles on a one, and it means he can launch hand grenades anywhere into the board. This is why they call him the fucking mortar. Not a name for him is Daniel Boom. As hey Daniel, can you make something go boom? Ah, oh, gee, it's like he needs it. Who ah! rigged these dice? Yeah, once again the Wood Elves get the reroll, not like they need them. 
His 84 never fails, does it? So the Wood Elves have started to casually try and defend things up, not realising what a one good hand grenade can actually do. Alright, yeah, you got the ball. Bloody fucking door. There's the throw. And there's the catch. Oh my. Well, maybe, just maybe, something's going to die anytime soon. Push me, push you. Trey finally tries to take a swing. Grabs the tree. And he pumps him somewhere else. So it's too follow up. He'd like to try to stay a bit pinned. And meanwhile, charging through the rest of the team here. Here comes the wall dancer. Misses everything. Grades the roll of all things. And he's still alive. And now it's pick on troll week. And he's knocked him down. There's no one near him there. So oh, he's going to take a bit of a dirt nap, isn't he? But not failing him this time. Gee, courtesy from the Wood Elves. Alright, Goblin is up. Troll's up. His pants are up. Now the Goblins have all kinds of ideas. Step one, actually blitz this player. Good sort of kick. Yes, this is what happens when you have a skilled Goblin. He's doing a fine job. And here it comes. A long hand grenade. That goes sweet bugger all. Well, he decides in the last minute, yes, he will trust Stunt. He gets all the way into the back end and does mark him up. Breaks tackle here with the troll. Moves him in a better position. These two are nicely pinned. And now crazy as crazy can be. Pogo stick, you're going, how does he pull that one off? Because a pogo stick secret weapon does not count as a secret weapon. Do take notes here. Well, he's got everything as mocked up as he can get. It's a bit of a risk for the Goblins, isn't it? But they really do need to get the second ball back. Push me, push you. Sorry, step out. He's still got him pinned. How about you? Now he's going to feel that one for a while. Fortunately, yeah. Goblins are resistant bolts, aren't they? Train moves around. Albos Woods at 36 in a second time. See, did I tell you, AG4, nothing ever goes wrong. He famously said. All right, here's a solid kick. Oh, no. I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. Yeah, well, he just did that. And yes, he is still quite dead. Again, this is now the second pogo stick he has lost in the course of the season. It's a shame, but perfectly skilled players. It's hard to find a good poker stick these days. Now for the second time, he's going to start oh fucking over again. <laughs> Finally! I approve. Does he fail it a second time now? But at least there went a re-roll. And it looks like, yeah. What else? In control. Yes, he marks the goblins up for no useful reason. No, seriously, there's no useful reason to mark them up right now. It's not like they're getting the ball anytime soon. Now he slips on the blood stain. Ah, there we go. What he bought. And at least it's a KO. And get off my lawn! Which he decides to apothecary of all things. Well, right. It's your team. <laughs> Might actually be a good idea. I hate to admit that. And now the goblins are going to swarm to try and actually get this ball. Two tackle zones out. Not bloody likely. Let's make it one tackle zone. Okay. How much risk do you feel like? Now, right, here we go. Stunty in and Stunty does. It's a push, and he's now cleared all the tackle zones. It's a bloody miracle the Goblins might actually find this ball. And yes, he did find the ball. He's off and running. Uh, at least he was anyway. Ooh, you suck! Do you like to try that again? Ooh, you suck! Yeah, there's the one at 36, courtesy of the Goblins, tripping over his own shoelaces. Of course, doesn't help when they're tied together. I wouldn't expect the go the elves for, you know, dirty play, but they don't do that sort of thing, do they? Oh dear, tackle. Who let you have that skill? You stupid dwarf. 
Oh well, Wood Elves back up and the punishment does continue. Alright, fish me, push you. You're letting the thrower throw a hit. You know it's one of those games. Oh well, simple enough here. Let's go get the ball back. How hold he's got the ball. Quickly moves up. Here we go. Oh well, there he goes. If you don't like it, don't fucking watch it! Yeah, a lot of the Wood Elves are having a good laugh at that one. Yes, once again, what the place has actually somewhat worked. They've drained out the lightning bolt, and they're still alive. And yeah, you saw that one. Constable Ed is on the case one more time. Unfortunately, he's ejecting the Goblin and not the Wood Elf. But I think that's the way it should be. That's a fair call. Not that one. He hasn't done anything yet. Well, so much for your skills. So, three ejections. All they have led to is the contribution of death, and yes, once again, the Pogu stick is quite dead for the second time running. <sighs> Sucks being a golden coach some days, it really does. Oh, look, it's a riot! And now he's here to f us! <sighs> oh, you touch my ta la la. Mmm, my ding ding dong. Well, what else are you supposed to do? Well, you don't have tackle there. <laughs> so the troll's just going to push him around and then see if we can get a good solid punch into him. And indeed, that is exactly what they're going to try. And that's not it. Well, thank you for wasting my re-roll on a 1 and 9. And then do sweet bugger roll on the head. Well, Goblin's out the ball. Here we go. Is it time for the quick handoff? Yes, it is. Is it going to be soon time to actually throw this football? I think it is. It's about time we got this down the field. But, yes, typical plan for failure and see what actually happens. Yeah, well, they have to celebrate something, and they somehow have gotten that play to work. Of all the plays to work, it's that one. Well, it is Goblins, and let's just face it, that's yeah, the way it should be. Something actually goes right. Let's throw a little bit of celebration confetti out there, thank you very much. Well, the Wood Elves actually shaking their head on that one. Of course, you know, Goblins' argument is, it's hard to stop the play when I don't let you even get near the ball. I score it in the same turn, you give it to me. Alright, here's the kick. Let me guess. Free ray roll. Of course it's a fucking free ray roll. Uh, phrasing? Fuck you. <laughs> well, this should be pretty easy now for the Wood Elves. Admittedly, now they've got four turns to score it in. Now, the Goblins, of course, as we've seen, a bit of risk. Maybe they can get the ball, but it's all risk at this point here. Now, look, push me, push you, you failed. Is he off and running? Yes, indeed, he's off and running. Yes, what else is the sight? They're going to return the favour, go for the quick score. Ah, he's running down the field. Is he making the throw just yet? No, not quite yet. He does have an idea. Now, oh, kick to the trolls and adds. Down he goes. It is a skinny day when the Wood Elves are not afraid to mark up your players. Because normally, yeah, what do you mean he's marking them up? Oh wait, the Goblins. Well, three has taken root. But two dice, grabs the troll, and he's making sure he's not going anywhere. Meanwhile, this young lad, where is he going? Well, right there. 
just right there. It's helpful he actually survives the day. I hate to say it, his odds are actually pretty good the way this game's going. Goblins! Well, they've got one target. Actually, come to think of it, it's a target rich environment, not exactly what they like normally. See, there we go, solid punch, how you feeling? No, 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 still can't kill him. Still can't kill him, like I said. It was a promising start, but since then, this teak under armor is doing a great job. One dice. Just one. Don't want to expect he's small. Yeah, not getting up anytime, tulips. And the other lad, smartly and sensibly, ducks out of there. Now the power of stalking what's actually working today. Well, what else? We'd like to get rid of Tall Dump here. Well, there's a punch. How you feel? Executed with impunity. How about you? No, nope. skull, but you can't return the favor. Just a push. Well, the troll's still doing his job. Meanwhile, down the field there, charging through. Oh dear. You know, you're just rubbing it in, aren't you? Well, front line. And well, down he goes. Nothing dead yet. But not gonna run through. Oh, come on. Be a sport. Man with yourself. Wood elves are not sporting. Now the goblins, again, same problem. They like to get the ball. Yeah, meet me fist. Well, at least he's down for a while. That's something. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Well, I wouldn't call it that, would I? Meanwhile, Stunty is keeping his team alive. And he's watching the clock tick, and I think at this point here, the goblin hates to a minute. Unless he gets the ball the next turn, it's not happening. Not you. I'm not talking to you. All right, Stunty, he trusts. Here we go, one die. Where is he going? Hey, there's a good solid hit. About bloody time. And there we go. I need to hug a bunny. Right now. Yeah, there is a lot of delight, as you can see. Yeah, indeed, there is the second death. Well, that's got to be immensely satisfying if the Goblin score would approve of that one. And that is your third death of the day. And it's two sucking one elves. And yes, they're not loners. You might win this one, but it's cost you, hasn't it? All right, well, the Wood Elves have had enough of this. They actually have to score this thing. All right, push me, push you. Here we go. Go on, go on, no you can do it. Pretend you're real players. Actually you had something. That wasn't an invitation, you. Oh, never mind. Yep, shoved them into the tree. Not where you want to be. See all that green stuff between the branches and the bottom? <laughs> former goblins. Also former halflings. That is a solid kick. And now it's time. There we go. What do you mean? Come on, throw it. Throw it. You know you want it. No. And there is a survivor. Plucky young lad. Oh well, he deserves it and he better survive. I've got money on him in the pool. Alright, mad goblin scramble here. They have to take away the receiver. Oh dear. Well, fortunately someone does get away. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Now, don't get me wrong, it's a good play. It's just, well, this is the biggest problem with trolls actually having to throw tea, mate. After all, really stupid and always bloody hungry. You just made the list! Oh well, stuns himself. Gallant effort trying to throw his body in front of the elves. Well, you did a great job of throwing your body there. Yeah, it's a problem. He's still alive. Oh well, he'd like to actually keep some players. Don't blame the coach. He's actually gotten to like them over the course of the season. Alright, Wood Elves, continue the abuse of these fine lads. 
<laughs> Don't worry, the goblins kind of used to it. It's like his mom always used to say. Put that thing away. All right. One die blitz. Yes, he does get away with it. No surprises. He's got plenty of rerolls there. It's time to run into the end zone. And now let's actually wait for that pending football to show up. Right, here we go. You may fire when ready. There it is. And easy enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got the idea, all right, you fucking elves. Bloody hell. <sighs> well, that is the nature of Blood Bowl Sundays. It's like I say, probably goblins is, you know, when the dice curve starts to fail on you, usually you don't have the skills to recover, unlike other teams. You either have a AG or a strength increase, or worse still, they actually have skills. Goblins don't have such a luxury. You're really all depending on just nice, good, average dice. And they're not happening. Really? We're going to be doing this again? Mortality clarified in a single strike. Oh, that wasn't very nice. <laughs> He's lucky there was only a KO. <laughs> oh, well, Goblins have to do this now the hard way. Uh, is it actually doable? Well, like with a kick landed, I don't think so. Bitterness resounds, and it's time to go fist something. How about you, Twinkle Toad? See, this is the problem. They're not dying. It's also not moving either. Again. Oh, well, ball is rather secondary at this point here. Yeah? How about you? Would you like to meet a fist? I can do that. Ah, uh, well, at least he knocked him over. I'm quite delighted about that one, but it's only a KO. Yes, I'm complaining. It's only two deaths. Oh, well. See, I happen to cheer for lads. Just me. Maybe it really is just me. Oh, well. Today's gonna suck! <laughs> well, I'd summed up the goblins today, didn't it? Well, there's your score. 3-1. A tough day. Tough day indeed for the heroes of the league, but... Sometimes you actually have to lose one occasionally. I mean, while the sucking elves, they move on, but it cost them dearly two very fine and entertaining deaths. Ah, sometimes this is a wonderful game. Anyway, we'll see what's going on in the rest of the league. Novel, bless your dice.